Michael was enjoying the day at the beach with his friends. The lifeguards had warned against rip currents, so everyone stayed close to the beach. Michael was playing beach volleyball when he suddenly noticed a flash of red in the water. It was a small girl in a red bathing suit. She had swum too far from the shore. Immediately, Michael jumped into the water. He soon reached the girl, but now he faced another problem. There were very strong rip currents in the ocean. He knew that he would not get very far if he tried to swim against the current. He might even be drowned. So Michael decided to float as far as the current took him. Then, with the little girl securely on his back, he started swimming parallel to the shore. When he felt the RIP current weakening at last, he was relieved. Swimming back to the shore, he was exhausted, but glad to be alive. Hari to the rescue. Hari was very excited. He was on a camping trip with his school friends. The camp was situated right on the river bank. If you stretched your hands, you could touch the freezing water out of the river. It was so beautiful. Some of the children played beach volleyball and some played football, while others just sat dangling their feet in the water. In the evening, there was a campfire. Everybody was soon dancing and singing around the fire. But what was this? Sheena had come too close to the fire and her scarf had caught fire. She carried on dancing and singing, unaware of the danger she was in. Hari acted quickly, pulling off the scarf and pushing her to safety. But his own hands were burnt. The others immediately dipped his hands in the cold water. Hari soon recovered and became the hero of the trip. Quick thinking Meeta's neighbor was an old man who lived all by himself. The children in the neighborhood did not like him. He always shouts at us for no reason, they said. One day, Meeta was playing near the staircase when she heard strange noises coming from the man's house. She hesitated, but when the noises grew louder, she rushed towards the old man's house. Luckily, the door was open. She ran towards the sound, but then stopped short. The old man was lying on the ground with a live wire next to him. He was shaking violently, as if in the midst of a shock. Meeta immediately ran to the main electricity board, switched it off and threw a blanket over the old man. Then she ran out, calling for help. When the man recovered, he visited Meeta with a beautiful doll and thanked her. They became good friends, thanks to Meeta's bravery and intelligence. Adventure in a Boat Monty travelled to school in a boat every day. The school was on the other side of the river, so he and his friends took the little ferry boat across. Monty's friend Raja was a mischievous boy. Raja, sit still. Otherwise, the boat will tilt and you will all fall into the water, the boatman would say. But still, Raja would not sit still. One day, the river was a bit choppy and the boat was being tossed from side to side. Raja bent over the side of the boat and fell into the river. He would definitely have been drowned that day, but for Monty's presence of mind. Monty grabbed onto his leg and did not let go. With the help of the other passengers, Monty was able to pull up a wet and scared Raja back into the boat. That was the scariest moment of my life, said Raja, thanking Monty. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.